on mine. Push. Good job. Uh-oh. All better. We got there. Smokey treat. Smokey's treat. Dirt, huh? No. Are you not gonna wear daddy's hat? I'm gonna hold it. Daddy hold it. You're not gonna wear it? <laughs> let's let's put one of them. Windy. It's not windy. I think it's windy. You need to go inside because it's windy. You sound like your brother. Morning, everybody. Morning, everybody. At the farm. That a kid. Good job. That a kid. You did real good. Get him, smoke. Get him. There she goes. Ooh, she's got the afterburners on out here. Somebody's ready to run. Uh, I know why you feel good. Yeah. You know why the animals feel good? Because it's 68 degrees. I can hear man. Oh, daddy. sweating. Daddy's sweating already? Yeah, let me get him a little bit. Hey, you want to give him some? Wakey, wakey. <laughs> All right, you want to feed the pigs? Now feed the pigs. That one. Mm -hmm. We don't touch this one either. Slow down. All right, you want to throw him some? Good boy. Good job. One time. Good job. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's like a party. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> so grandpa noticed the other day that the hog water was losing water. I don't know if I can show you guys with Adler at the same time. This hog water we got from Tartar. They actually sent that to us. We work with them. And... And? It's leaking. And it's leaking. Leaking it's a lot. So... Leaking a lot. I got a phone call into them. We'll see how their customer service is. You guys know I love my Tartar. The customer service is all that matters. Things less than goodness, we got it in like April. You know, things happen, bad welds, bad molds. Cause I'm not sure if it's the molded plastic feeder part of it or if it's the actual metal structure, but I'll let you know. We'll get a close up one of these days. Oh my goodness, you're getting so heavy. Woo! And Batman is for sale if you're local. He's a good boy. He's okay. Just one of our weathers. He's a good boy, but we don't need three, four goats through the winter. So he is for sale. Let's see, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. You see what everybody's doing in here. Hey, good job. You gonna put some over here? You gonna throw some more? I think dude thinks he's the boss. Good job. I'm trying to make sure dude is not a turd. So if he starts picking on these little ones, we'll take him out of here. He can live as long as he can pick on us. I don't mean it like that. I just don't want him picking on these other guys. So look at this one. That is a beautiful rooster. There's their dad. <laughs> I don't think he would put up with a dude very long. He just slung that right in my face. I think it's in my beard. It's in my beard. Yeah, can you get it? Good job, Dad. Thanks, buddy. All right, let's go feed the big ones. Save some for the big ones. Say, peace out, chickens. Peace out, chickens.
What you think? On the way. Lucius. What's up, buddy? It's Lucius. Lucius. She's got a mouth. She's got a mouth. Let's do this. There we go. All right, let's go check the, uh, let's go check for eggs. Go check it. There's one in there, huh? One in there, too. That's right. Oh, this. Oh, that. That's a food. That's their food. That's their food. Yep. You got you a real pretty egg. Oh, here she comes. Hold real still. She's going to eat. She's going to eat, too. There she is. Where? Where? They're sisters. They're sisters. Yeah. They I like each other. And they're here. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, that looks like a tom. That's one of our little ones. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I guess a Jake to be. But he's definitely a he. Look at him. Walking around like some kind of stud. I read. And there's a rooster. <laughs> I think we're going to call Storm Cloud. If you guys have seen the new Snake Eyes G.I. Joe movie. That right there is Storm Cloud. He's still growing. He don't know he's allowed to be the... Uh... Yeah, he don't know he's allowed to be the boss in here, but he may not be if uh, this guy right here doesn't let him. It'll be interesting. Look at him strutting around. Mr. T is definitely your daddy. That's for sure. Already thinking you're something. Big chicken. Big chicken. Weighing about eight pounds. What's up, boys? What you think? Huh? Hey, you whizzing on your beard yet? So another thing I forgot to mention about that hog water is Lola didn't actually prefer it, but before we move three pigs into one pasture, oh, what the, I'd really like to be, I'd really like there to be a working hog waterer. Feed the beaky boys first. Happy. Okay. You wanna sing? No. What about? Driving it along on my automobile. No. My baby beside no. me at the wheel. No. They're cruising and playing my radio. No. With no particular place no. to go. No. <laughs> Be careful, little Adler. Be careful, little Adler. You're not so little anymore, though. You know it. Hey, you know what? I can tell by looking. Something's wrong with the fence. It's low. Morning, boys. And it's right over here. I can see it. Over there. I mean, see it. Yep. Dad. Here, can you turn that off? Turn. Oh boy. See how low it is. I see low this. That's not normal. It's wrong, it's wrong Look, yep. There it is. There it is. So we'll put this back in here. There we go. There we go. Let's go feed these bruisers. See the bug? Watch him, hang on. There he goes. Oh, he got to throw him real far. Throw him in there, buddy. There's in there. 
there's caterpillars in there. They chew. It's, it's just caterpillars. Here, you throw them now. Let me throw them. Caterpillars in you. <laughs> Don't throw them right here. Here, throw them to the beefy boys. Telling them beefy boys. Well, what, what are you doing? Did you forget that you're ambidextrous? Throw them over the fence. Throw them real far. Oh, wow. What in the world? Is this a toddler moment? Or is this like comedic relief for everybody watching? Where are you going? He knows we gotta turn the fence on. Oh, that was a big one. It's like a hole, isn't it? I got the hole. I got the hole. Yep. All right, let's turn the fence on. Turn the fence on. See if it still pops. One more. Yeah, kid. See that green light? See that green light? Yeah. There it is. That means it's working, huh? By the way, huge shout out to Gallagher Fencing System. Huge shout out. Huge shout out. Or Gallagher Animal Management System. But it's Gallagher. And man, Gallagher. I can't tell you how blessed we are to have this fencing system. Oh, and when you compare the cost and the time that goes into like setting up a hard barbed wire structure, there is no comparison. I'm and ride it. Want to ride it? And let's be honest too, if you're gonna get two steers or you're gonna get four steers or six steers, don't skimp on stuff anyway. You know what I mean? Like, it doesn't make any sense. Like if you're one of those people that has a car that you just drive A to B and you just need it to start, I think that's awesome. That's great. But when you're talking about raising two steers and keeping them safe, keeping them in, not having to chase them like we have before the fencing system, it's an expense you need to consider before you even get them. It's just part of it. So we have a coupon code down below. It's amazing. As you guys know, I have a shorts channel and I'm getting ready to show you everything you need to string up about anywhere from five to 10 acres with that charger right there, like links and everything. So I'll link our shorts channel down below. Go follow it. It's gonna be like a real short, quick review. So stay tuned. I'll let you know when I do it though. That is the face of concentration right there. Right. Uh, uh. My motorcycle. Motorcycle. These are private drives, by the way. They're not named streets. They're not county roads. They're not back roads. They are private drives, invite only. Is that better? Now the sun's not in your eyes? Yeah. Uh, hold on to it. Let's go. So here we come, Wilma. Fence is on, brother. Fence is on, Bubba. Oh, the in there. You gonna give her some peanut butter today? She says thank you. Thank you. Yeah, she likes that peanut butter flavored water. Here, wash your hands. Good job. She liked that peanut butter flavored water. Here, we'll get her some clean water though. Let's clean this out. Here. That's okay, you got boots on. I can't get you. I can't get you. Here, let's put the lid on. Oh, there's more. More? I think that's plenty of butter. Yeah. It's not full. Come here. Can you help me? No. The bowl. Yeah, she's gonna she's eating food and then she'll get a drink. She says thank you. Yeah, you ready to drive? 
Yeah, yeah. Turn it. There we go. Now press this one. Press down. Yep. Take oh, down. press it again. Let's go. Say bye to Wilma. Bye, Mama. Vroom, vroom. Shit down. Three. There we go. Can you turn the key off? Hey, kid. Good job, Dad. Good job, Bubba. Get a little dirty? That's all right. Don't eat a little dirty. What we say? We say God made dirt. Dirt don't hurt. You're getting big, buddy. What size are these? Elevens. Elevens. You're two, and you're wearing an 11. You probably wear a 10, but those 10s were kind of hard to take on and off, so we switched to an 11. Oh my, listen, so fast. Feels good in here, huh? Here. No one's here. Yeah. What is that? Oh, that's Grandma and Grandpa's iPad box. Let's put oh. it up here. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, do you want cookies? Coffee. And yeah, that's oh. coffee. Yeah. Uh oh, that's Coffee. We don't need coffee though. Yeah. That one. One. Two. That hey boy. That's pretty cool. In case you guys didn't know, mom and dad are now editing some of their four of them yep they're editing now their previous video was the first one they kind of edited themselves i think it's pretty cool you know 63 and 63 how old are grandma and grandpa i don't know but they were married today's august 2nd august 1st so you guys will see this august 3rd august 1st grandma and grandpa were married 40 years 41 years I said 40 because grandpa thought it was 40, but it's 41. So that's pretty cool. So tell them happy anniversary down below. Go over to their channel and tell them howdy. You guys ready to see the ultimate toy room? Yeah, come and see ya. There's a lot of toys in here. You play for a second. I'm going to show the people some uh, stuff from the garden. So I know you guys can't see me, but check this out. Look at that. You ever seen a yellow tomato? I haven't. That is so cool. And they've made tons of zucchini bread. We have a fresh one to take home too because Adler loves it. That is so cool. All from our garden. And Grandma and Grandpa, by the way, are thinking about getting a greenhouse. So you guys give them some encouragement on their video. I'm going to put a video right here. Go watch that video. Give them some encouragement on their garden to get a greenhouse something else in here that dad loves. He may have taken it to work. Cantaloupe. Let's, let's open this up. I'll show you guys. Look at that. That's from Haas Tools. And by the way, mom and dad are officially sponsored by Haas Tools. So their fall garden, whatever you guys think they should grow, comment on that video I'm tagging right here. You guys know we love Haas. I've been down there. I toured it. I met Greg, family, awesome people, awesome company. Can't thank them enough. So I've only had cantaloupe like once or twice. I'm not a big fan of the taste. Hey, come here. Want to try some cantaloupe? Let me take a bite. Oh man. I still don't like it. <laughs> I don't know, something, something about it, but like tropical fruit smoothies, which I don't know if cantaloupe's considered tropical fruit, but you know, showing my whatever here, my palate's not very expansive past red meat. Anyway, I don't like tropical fruit smoothies, so it would make sense I don't like cantaloupe, but I don't actually like watermelon. I know that's like borderline un-American, but 
I like things flavored with watermelon, like natural flavor. So it's just how I am, Tom Wired. Lo siento. You ready to go bye-bye? No. What's up? What's up? How you doing? Good. So we were gonna show you, because we know you guys are waiting. We were gonna, ah, there's a sleep. I need to whisper. I know, it's really late. We were gonna film some more stuff this afternoon because we bought a couple bird feeders, but it got later and Adler and I actually got them when we were at the, the big box store you guys saw us in. And if I put them up without him, he's gonna be upset. And it got too dark to hang them. So we'll do those on a later date. I don't even know if they're in the video. If we got some bird feeders, pretty excited about it. Pretty much because I'm hoping squirrels get on them and then I get to, um, chase some squirrels away. With the squirrels. Whoa. Yeah. You need a haircut. I know, watch. Look. Now it's all gone. <laughs> <laughs> so, anyway, we got some bird feeders to show you guys, some cool stuff we're gonna do around the house. And, yes, some of you guys got it right. It is an axolotl. Yes. It's not a mud puppy, because mud puppies, they're like a foot and a half long. This guy will be 10 inches or less, probably for his whole life. You wanna tell him his name? You haven't told him the main channel. Okay, it is Mr. Nimbus. Mr. Nimbus. Yes. But he could be a Mrs. Nimbus. Yeah, we don't know, but. We don't know. But he or she is very nice. And they're getting ready to move from a five gallon tank to a 30 gallon tank in Case's room. Yes. Pretty quick, but you know, you order stuff on Amazon and it winds up at your local sortation center for USPS and for some reason, sometimes they can't remember where you live. So you get a delayed delivery notice and we're waiting on some stuff. We don't have a thermometer upstairs in the water and actual, an axolotls want 68, no, 64 to yeah, 70 degree to water to Fahrenheit. So we need a thermostat or we need a thermometer, but we didn't get it. It was supposed to be here today. And we're also letting that tank acclimate upstairs. As soon as it's ready, we'll move the axolotl Mr. Nimbus upstairs. And then Case will do like a full reveal. Does that sound good? Yeah. So anyway, that's all we got for you. It was uh, the high of like 82 degrees today, which is amazing. It's supposed to be the same way tomorrow. And it's just awesome. I hope it stays this way. I hope it snows tomorrow. That's what I hope. Yeah, fine. So anyway, y'all be good. It's late. Sorry, guys. Y'all be good. Don't work too hard. Don't make it weird. God bless. God bless. Deuces. Deuces. See y'all. See y'all.